Hey, this is Emil and I'm Lars, and today we're talking about this new shoe, the Essex GL Cayano 31. Yes, and let's just go straight into it. Emil, you got 10 seconds. Tell me about what's new in this shoe. Get ready, ready set. This shoe has a new foam, FF Blast Plus Eco. It has a new knit color uh, uh, step in for easy step in. And then it has a new uh, engineered mesh for added breathability. Yeah. 10 seconds. Okay, Flat. good. Yeah. Did you remember the. And I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't tell it in 10 seconds. Yeah. It has a new Essex hybrid grip. Yes. I tried the last version. Yes. 30? Yes. This is the 31. Is it a little bit uh, similar to the update of the Nimbus? It is. You get the new foam underneath the foot, but it doesn't feel a lot different from what you got in the 30. The 30 had a big upgrade. Yep. New uh, gel, new 40 guidance system that worked in a completely different way. New look and feel of the shoe. Yeah. Still the Keanu with the uh, added stability on the inside of the foot, but this time they didn't change as much as they did. So not a radical change, some differences. Yes. We're gonna get through those. 4D guidance system is that new modern type of guidance system instead of that like hard block. Yes, it feels nicer and more smooth. Let's go into the upper first. Yes. Looks comfortable. It's comfortable, that's the main thing about this upper. It has a good combination of being plush and soft, but it doesn't get too hot. Seems fairly breathable up here. It is, in the it front. is. Nice and breathable, but still plush and uh, comfortable. Nice to, yeah. to run in and walk in and put on your feet. Yeah, in general. Yeah. Semi gusseted tongue. You got a little bit of a different thing going on back here. That's the new uh, semi knitted step in. And you have this kind of fabric. Yeah, it's like a fabric here. that feels soft one way and a little yeah. bit. Like it grips you a little bit uh, exactly. going up. Yeah. On to the midsole. outsole, midsole? Midsole. 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 midsole, midsole, midsole. The midsole, uh, as I said, in the 10 seconds that I nailed, yeah. uh, <laughs> it has the FF Blast Plus Eco Foam yeah. in it. So that's the same thing that's in the Nimbus 26. Exactly. It has a little bit of a better environmental footprint, but very similar performance. Yes, and feel and everything. What do you get from a midsole like this? You get a nice, soft and comfortable landing. You get a lot of shock absorption without it being overly soft. It has a well-balanced feel underneath your foot. Exactly, and shock absorption is also a really key word because it has the pure gel Yes, in the heel. Which we actually have here from last year's version. We don't know if it's the exact same. But you might remember that we uh, cut up the shoe yeah. in half uh, to get out the pure gel because we were curious about yeah. how it looked. Yeah. So this is the pure gel that's in the heel, we think. So it should be something similar to this, yes. which is very soft and shock absorbent. Next up, hybrid grip. I haven't tested this shoe in, in rain no. or ice and snow or anything because it's it's summery outside. But it feels like Essex has always been good at making grippy outsoles and this feels pretty much the same. It feels lighter than before and maybe a little bit more flexible the way they've done it. Rubber is always heavy and not so flexible underneath your foot. Which yeah is kind of the opposite of what you want. So I think this does a good job of minimizing that. Yeah, and hybrid grip is also, as I understand it, different types of compounds on different places. Mm. So some places are high abrasion areas, which are maybe these in the heel yeah, here in the, the forefoot. Green, the green so you get a little bit more durability, but with high abrasion rubber, you probably won't get as much grip. No. So in the middle here, you get a little bit more of a, maybe a softer compound. You more get sticky. Bit, now you have different compounds underneath, you get a little bit better grip all yes. around. It's nice. Yeah, so who would you recommend this for and what should they use it for? This is 
a daily trainer uh, yeah. for people who need that extra stability. If you pronate a lot or just need that stability because of your knees or something like that, then this is a very good option for you. Very, very nice, easy daily trainer that you can do a lot of miles in. Yeah. Feel comfortable. Comfortable is the key word. It right? is. It yeah. Is. And a little bit of stability as well. Yeah. So there you have it. The new Kayano 31. You can buy it on runningexpert.com. Boom. Boom. Pure chill.